Hello and welcome to another review from Scale War Machines. We've been sent more samples from Hysterex agents, this time from Life Miniatures. And we have looked at Life Miniatures before and the quality was excellent. Without further ado, let's remove the wrapping. And here they all are. First of all, it's worth saying they're all from the fictional universe, a dystopian, sci-fi and post-apocalyptic wasteland. They're all different characters from this imagined universe, so if you're into your sci-fi or your post-apocalyptic stuff, this could be for you. They're certainly very different. Let's take a look. This half cyborgy queen is reference LMFUB003. That's one-tenth scale. Definitely eye-catching. We'll take a look in the box in a second. This one is Violence Under the Skin. Again, it's a sort of androidy cyborgy. Can you call it that? Half humanoid machine. And you can see here that there are various mechanical arm elements building into this almost insect-like upper bust figure. Violence Under the Skin, LM FUB 005 12th scale. This one, with all the tattoos and artwork, is interesting. This is Mirai. A humanoid cyborg assassin from 2074. So this assassin is also 112th scale, Mirai. Then these were particularly appealing to us. These are sort of post-apocalyptic figures. A female cut off just above the knee with a rucksack and an AK, clearly navigating her way through this post-apocalyptic wasteland. It's called Stand Alone, which is a great title. LMFUB002, that's 1 12th scale. Seemingly from the same universe, this with a hint of zombies there is called Surrounded, and that speaks well to this young female clutching a puppy. You can see that they're computer designed renders here, so it's highly likely that this is designed in a computer or scanned in a computer. Anyway, let's take a look. We'll start off with Surrounded. They're all very sturdily packed, as you'd expect. There are all the hands, including three zombie hands. Very nicely moulded. Let's have a look at the face. Very good rendering of the hair and a lovely expression. Cleanly moulded, of course you'd expect that. What else have we got? The puppy in two parts. The base, pedestal, sling. The main torso here, that's beautifully sculpted. That's going to be great fun. It's just so cleanly moulded. Really, really nice. Let's have a look at the rucksack. Yeah, some sort of modern rucksack. That fits on really snugly. Very nice. That certainly is screaming, just paint me. Okay, let's move on to the next one. This is standalone. AK. Very cleanly moulded indeed. The arms and legs. Smooth and exempt of bubbles. Nice rucksack. Ah, oh, there's the main bit. Ah, oh, all moulded together. That's interesting. Very well sculpted indeed. Love the hair detail. You get a sense of the size of the figure there. Let's take out one or two bits and get a better look. Those are the legs. There's great location marks there that will really help, and the pouring plugs aren't too bad, so they should be fairly easy to remove. Just so cleanly cast. This is going to be a spectacular three-quarter figure. So I'll just put all those elements back in. Quickly have a glance at this one, Mirai. Wow, that's just so well moulded. That's certainly going to be fascinating to paint. Look at the box art, you can see how it all goes together. We'll pick one more item on the face. We won't do all of these in super detail because of limited time, but that will be a spectacular figure. Absolutely amazing. This is the violence under the skin figure. Here you see some cyborg arms. Let's take a look at those. And you've got the um, half human cyborg type arms. 
Nice. This is just spectacular. This is something really tempting to paint something like this. It's just so different. So this is the Queen, kind of channeling a sort of uh, kimono style geisha girl aesthetic. Let's have a look at this. Again, the moulding is just exemplary. It really is. It's just, it's almost like plastic. It's incredible. And look at that detail around there. Looks great. And a bunch of other pieces. Again, all exemplary in their moulding. Just before we completed the film, two more live miniature references, the latest two new releases have arrived from Hysterex agents. First up is a bust. This is again from the fiction universe. This is called Bad Blood 2. There's a bust version. That's that one. F-U-B-006. And then there's a full figure version. Bad Blood 2. Full figure version. This one is 75 millimeters. The other one is 112 scale. Let's take a look inside. There immediately you can see how small it is. And you get a good sense of the casting. Meanwhile, this one, of course, is going to be much, much bigger. But these are both out now and also available along with all the other ones that we've reviewed. Excellent references from Life Miniatures. Really blown away by the quality of the resin and the casting. Just absolutely fabulous. Certainly a bit offbeat and different. Always interesting to have a whole new universe that someone's created from their own mind. But they make excellent subjects. Hope you've enjoyed the review. These are all available now from Hysterex Agents. So you can get these from them. Thanks a lot for watching and bye.